everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. Lakers win Jared Vanderbilt missed most of preseason with what the team termed a heel problem. And we recently got word that he's actually dealing with what's called heel bursitis. And then we got an update that he will miss at least two more weeks and he'll be re-examined after that two week period. So firstly, what exactly is heel bursitis? Bursitis refers to inflammation, itis of a bursa, which is a fluid filled sac that helps reduce friction between bones and tendons and or muscles. In the heel, there's two specific ones, the retrocalcaneous bursa, meaning behind the heel bone, and the subcutaneous bursa, which sit between the calcaneus, that heel bone, and your Achilles tendon. Due to that very close proximity, this is often confused with an Achilles problem, but with proper examination and MRI, you can see that it's the bursa causing the, the issue. Typically that bursa or both bursa can become inflamed due to overuse and repetition and it can be not very red and tender and sore following activity. As we found out with Jared Vanderbilt, the return timeline here can be quite variable as initially the team thought he would be back for the opener, which he obviously hasn't been, and now he's looking at two plus weeks out. It's a difficult situation to deal with just because of how much load and stress goes to that area during basketball. Obviously, Kelly's tendon and the foot and ankle are involved in every single action. The key for his return timeline, and to note, the medical update did say that he's improving, is for him to keep progressing through rehab where they're gonna add more load, more intensity, and then see how he responds. And then eventually he'll get back to on-court activities and then most likely at full practice. And the key is again to see how he responds to that increase in activity. Even after returning, there's potential for that bursa to act up again because there's an increase in intensity. In addition to rehab, and one thing the team possibly could do is put a heel insert in to reduce the load on that Achilles. With some bursitis issues, you can potentially use a corticosteroid, but the problem here is when it's a bursa between a tendon, corticosteroids have been shown to weaken those tendons and potentially lead to Achilles ruptures. So obviously that will not be part of the plan of care here. I'll keep you updated as we learn more information.